Hey Jordan, it's Dave. Um, sorry for my sexiness. It's actually like two million degrees out here in the shop. Super, super hot today. Um, no temperature controlled in my shop, so it's about a hundred and maybe ten degrees in here. Dang. Um, I wanted to give you a tour of the aircraft so you kind of understand how everything operates. Um, I will be posting all of this. This will be build type stuff to help you out. Um, so let's go over a couple of things. Okay, this section, you have this pad, which has got dents in it from laying on top of something. Um, this pad here goes in there like that. This allows you to have access to filling the water. Then you also have this fat pad right here, which goes in there like this. Okay, so, up. there you go. So when it's all in place, you end up with that, okay? This tilts forward to get access to things. Let me pull it. Okay, this is just for looks. Eventually, I'm trying to make that remote control right there hook onto here. May or may not be able to pull that off, not sure. I wanted to show you the gist of how this system operates. The strobes are sitting in place just for reference for right now to show you kind of what happens. So the way it works is you're gonna have current 12, 12 volts up to 24 volts. You may end up with um, two batteries wired to get you 24 volts um, but that may be too fast for this aircraft and if that's the case we'll drop her down to 12 volts and wire them up where you get more amps because uh, you did pay for two batteries um, anyway there we go so what you have is these wires here coming into this master switch right here these wires will be coming up from the bottom of your um, floats. So the floats are gonna contain the motors I showed you over here will be in the floats. They're 12 volts. They will come through the float assembly to the battery and emergency shutoff that if you had to, you could run beside and just slap the vehicle and it'll shut it off and you can always run up and knock this down and that'll shut it off. But that comes into here, the master arm will run power straight over here to this. This is a voltage reducer to 12 volts. That's because we're assuming 24 volts is coming in here, going to that, and everything else in this plane is 12 volts. Everything's 12 volts. The motors can be 12 or they can be 24. But what you don't have to mess with this, this whole hub assembly right here, uh, not hub assembly, I shouldn't say, um, this whole piece right here, this is a 12 volt distribution board. Just think everything on here is 12 volt because it's being fed by this reducer. Okay, so this is your master um, motor driver and it's designed to handle up to 30 amps peak power on those motors, which should be totally fine. I don't anticipate any problems there unless your kiddo's trying to drive it through a ginormous uh, hole and it's, you know, fighting it. When you're done, there will be a remote control input that goes here. That's what is gonna operate. The receiver is gonna plug into this. You also have the ability of switching to analog joysticks. Analog joysticks have a tendency to be really jumpy. Um, remote control ones can be tweaked down using the exponential programming that I can dial down. So that's kind of why that's there. The lighting is going to be as expected. You have two lights up here that will wig wag and we discuss they each flash independently. These flash 
based on this module. So you have 12 volts continuing through to this. Each one of these lines, there's two of them, is a lighting circuit. And in this case, we have one going to green and one going to red. If you decide it and uh, the, these same circuits will be divided up into these two front wigwag lights. So they're gonna flash in the same sequence, but you'll have the wings flashing, you'll have the front flashing, and the back, if you want it flashing, you're gonna have to switch this from just a constant hot power to that wigwag circuit, which is real simple. It's just those two wires on this end. Okay, so the idea is one way of knowing that your airplane is on is that if these lights are, I wired them there where there's no switch to turn them on or off. The, the fact that these lights flash means that you have power to the wheels and everything. So that's to help you as a parent know that this thing is sitting at idle, your kid's running around playing in the neighborhood and he's left the plane sitting there. If these lights are on, he's draining the battery. So that's the whole idea there. So this is a, um, this is master arm. This is control sound effects and that motor. If the sound effect is going, the motor is going. And let me explain something about that. So it's a temporary switch. Up is master arm. It'll run for like 10 minutes. And then that motor will shut off, but the, that doesn't affect the power to the motors. If the lights are flashing, there's power to the motors. So master arm turns on strobes. This switch here is only controlling this motor and the sound effects. If you shut this motor off, you get the sound effect of a power down. And I wish I had more lighting in here, but you get the sound effect of power down. And when the power is done, the motor shuts off. And let me show you how that works. Um, actually, I'll explain that in the next video. But here's how it works. You come in, you flick the master power on. The strobes flash letting you know that the entire system has power, either 12 volts or 24 volts, whatever's going on. This is just a temporary battery pack for demonstrations. Okay, so right now you see the motor's not working. It's not working because it is not switched on through the power module. Now right now, if I switch this power module on, it's not gonna work, and the reason is, is because the sound board is removed, because that's gonna be a class for you next. Um, now I wanted to explain, this is my version of what I call a clutch system. Because it's electric, I don't want this spinning crazy fast. I don't want this propeller going really fast. These are plastic blades, might hurt a kiddo. So what I did is I came up with this. Let me shut this off, no reason for that. We shut it off, just simple. Everything's powered off. Um, the idea is, is that this belt fits so loose that if I grab it, it will stop this system. I don't have the lock nut on here because I'm slowly adjusting. Okay, so you can see here, this motor has a lock. It will not spin freely when it's powered off, but I can still turn the propeller. So the idea is, is when this thing's spinning, that's spinning, kid jumps in front of it. The motor might still be working, but this won't spin. So that's a safety feature I recently came up with. So let's uh, switch and go into the house. That'll be video number two of this aircraft.